Okay, so welcome back for example four in our review of triangle trigonometry. And um, remember in example three, we mentioned that when you know one angle in a right triangle, the other angle um, that's not the 90 degree angle has to be the complement. So to find the complement, um, we would take 90 minus the angle that we know. So 90 minus theta in this case, since the angle that's labeled is the angle theta. So the sine of the angle theta is equal to the cosine of 90 minus theta. That would be um, an identity of trigonometric functions. So if I know the sine of 57, that would be equivalent to the cosine of 90 minus 57, which is 33 degrees. So we'll notice in the calculator the sine of 57 and the cosine of 33, those are equivalent. Right, so to find, again, the sine of 57 degrees, we did the cosine of 90 minus 57 degrees. And that's how we got the cosine of 33 degrees. Okay, so the cosine of four degrees is going to be equal to the sine of its complement, and that would be 90 minus 4, which is 86. So the cosine of 4 is equal to the sine of 86 degrees, and when we verify that in the calculator, we see that they are equivalent. Okay, the tangent property or identity says the tangent of the angle theta is equal to the reciprocal of the tangent of its complement. So one over the tangent of 90 minus theta. So the tangent of 71 is equal to one over the tangent of its complement, which would be the tangent, tangent, of 90 minus 71. And when we check that in the calculator, 1 over the tangent of 19 is equivalent to the tangent of 71. So that's our property or identity for tangent. It's also the case that the reciprocal of tangent, so one over the tangent of theta, that's equal to the tangent of its complement. So sometimes you'll see um, your problem written that way versus the form that we just did in example four.